This is a brief video on how to create an HDR image. In Photoshop, go to File, Automate, Merge to HDR Pro. And the files that you will need, usually using a tripod with your camera, what you want is a basically three different ranges of exposure overexposed, underexposed, and then somewhere in the middle. This gives you greater range or a high dynamic range allowing uh, you to see more colors more details within the image itself. Once you've chosen the images click OK and you'll see Photoshop go to work for you The images I used were camera raw images, so they have even more detail, which means it takes Photoshop or your system to run a little bit uh, longer. CS6 has a way to sort of fake an HDR image, which we can uh, get into later. So here you see the high dynamic range it creates this interesting effect here automatically defaulted to custom. Uh, you can choose any one of these like photorealistic for example. You can also go down and edit the radius strength. All of these different things for the edge glow, tone and detail, all depending on what you're going for. Uh, detail is usually one that's very interesting. A lot of people uh, have found this one to be very useful. So I'm going to go with flat in this case and increase the detail. Now if I don't like certain things in the image I can get rid of that exposure by unchecking one of the images below. And there we have it. So I like this one. Um, just using the medium exposure and the the underexposure, I've taken out the overexposure. Once you've done this, or once you're satisfied, you can click OK. And it's actually going to convert it to a file usable in Photoshop. It will no longer be a camera raw file. And as you can see, it's still working. And there you have it. That creates an HDR file. Now, once you've done this, there is a way to create an HDR file using image adjustments and HDR toning. But in reality, you're not creating an HDR file. You're creating an HDR effect from a single image. So if you don't have an overexposed uh, medium and an underexposed image or images, you can use this in place of that for your single image.